What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel where we dive into the world of Linux and help you level up your tech game. And today I got something special for you. We're going to be setting up a DNS caching server using Bind on Ubuntu server. And this is a fantastic skill to add to your toolkit, especially if you're looking to speed up your network and improve efficiency. So let's get into it. All right, before we jump into the actual install, let's talk about what a DNS caching server is and why you would want one. Simply put, a DNS caching server stores DNS query results for a certain period of time. And this means when you visit a website, your server doesn't have to look up the DNS information every single time. And so this speeds things up and reduce the load on your primary DNS server if you have one set up. And a little bit later, I'll show you guys how to set up an actual DNS server. I just wanna show you guys this, and we're gonna use some pub public DNS servers, but our caching server will be locally on my network. And you can see the speeds and all that stuff change once we add it to our network. Now, like I stated in the intro of the video, we're going to be using Bind, which stands for Berkeley Internet Name Domain. And it's one of the most commonly used DNS servers. And so by the end of this video, you have a fully functioning DNS caching server on your Ubuntu setup. Sounds good, let's get to it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so let's get down to business. First things first, you need to have a Ubuntu server up and running. Now I'm using Ubuntu 24.04 for this tutorial and I'm SSH into it. And first, it's always a good idea to update your server. And all you have to do is type sudo apt updates and sudo apt upgrade tech y. And I already did it. That's why I was able to pull it up through my history. But this is a fresh server. I did do an update. And just a quick note, if you guys haven't heard, there was a vulnerability for open SSH. So if you have any servers out there, make sure you update it. I'm gonna do a video on that as well, but make sure you update your servers. Once we've updated it, let's go down and clear right fast and we go down and install bind. And all we have to do is our apt package manager or use that. So sudo apt install and then the package name is bind nine so b-i-n-d nine and then also let's get the bind utility so bind nine and then u-t-i-l-s and then also let's go down and get the bind docs so bind nine tech doc and press dash y and i'll go through and install bind for us in all the packages that we need and cool so we got bind install everything is good to go now let's walk through the quick configuration of bind so we can have it set up as a caching server and so all we have to do is type sudo use your text editor whichever text editor you want to use i'll use nano and then the configuration files will be under the etc directory and a lot of times they're within a folder by the name of the application which this one is bind so i'm gonna just tab it so you guys can see but it's bind not bind not but fine and then let's go into let me tab it out so you guys can see the files in here and what we're looking for is our named.conf options that's what we want to uh, use first or at least go into first let's type that out so named conf and then dot options and tab it out and let's go down and press center that'll open it up for us we basically want to create some folders for the system let's go down and scroll down here and what we're going to do is right now they're commenting out and so we can remove our comments that way this will open up this area for us to actually use and so we want to add our folders and so all you have to do is type in whatever dns folders you want to use which is basically a main dns server and like i tell you guys i'll use a public dns server and we can just use google i just use that one for right now so 8.8 and then let's add the secondary and tab it out and then 8.8.4.4 and those are google's public dns servers so you can use those or you can use whichever ones you want and so all we had to do is close the file we made the changes that we need to make and press enter 
All right, so now that we have it configured fully, I want to show you guys an optional setting that you can do on the server and that's configure logging. And this is something that I do on my personal servers that cache. You want to probably log some of the query requests. And that way you can see what nodes are using the caching server the most. You can see what they're actually requesting and all that stuff. It's just a good thing to log in my opinion. And so you have to do a little bit more configuring so we can open up another file right fast. And it's under that same directory. So etc bind and then it's named dot local. So let's go up into this file right fast. And what you want to do is go down to the bottom. I already had the login kind of set up. So that's exactly where this came from. But this is the format you want to put it in. Basically, you're just specifying what the login is. You have to specify the channel, the file name, the location of the actual file. And we're going to create this directory in a couple seconds. But we want it to be put under our VOR log. That's typically where our log files are stored, like our authentication logs and all that stuff. So we'll create a folder and give the bind server permissions to it. And then there's a severity of the debug. It's like level one through three. If you don't specify it, level one becomes the default. And then also the category query. So query.log, good to go. So let's go on and save this right fast. That's really only the changes that we need to make. But first off, let's go on and create our directory. Like I stated, so make the or and then under vor www make directory and then vor log and we want to create a folder called named and let's go on press enter. And now we need to give the bind server permission. So there is an account that is added to the system when you install bind nine and it's the bind account. It's basically a service account. And so let's give that permissions to this directory. So sudo ch own. And what we want to do is change the ownership because everything under that VOR log is owned by roots. So we need to give it permissions for our bind account on the system. So bind for slash vor log and then just specifically that name directory and let's go on press enter and i'll change the permissions for it and you can also ls that directory right fast and actually let's just go up back this out and then let's go ls dash la and we got sudo there so we can press that and as you can see this directory is owned by buying and so now our liberation is done let's go on reboot the server so all we have to do is type sudo system ctl and then restart bind nine dot server and let's press enter and boom no errors and then we can also check the status so let's go back in and check the status so status of by nine dot service and we're good to go so as you can see network unreachable resolved not sure what that is but as you can see it's active running enable you don't have to start it this service kind of starts when you install it on the system so let's go on quit out of that and let's go on clear now let me actually just verify that bind is listening on the correct port so if we type dig and then dash x and then let's dig our loopback address and the dig command is ported at dns utilities just so you guys know like it's basically a way of resolving domains and ip addresses from the command line using the dns service that we have available to us so let's press enter and boom as you can see it answered back so localhost and the ip address of the server and a port is working udp i like this stuff now let's check a domain outside of my network that i'm sure is not a uh, log let's go let's dig Orch Linux or what I want you to do is pay attention to this. So you see the time. This is a query time. So it took about 298 milliseconds and it came back with the IP address. And like I said, this is basically like the, a lookup of a domain name and it'll send you the reference to the IP address, the A record. It'll pull that information. That's what dig does. But as you can see, let's pay attention to that. So it took 298 milliseconds to respond or the query time. Now let's run it again. Let's just run it one more time. And this will let you know that the caching server is working. So if we run it against that again, as you can see, it took zero milliseconds because it's cached. And so that means it'll speed up the querying of all the nodes on your network. All you have to do is point them to this server. And basically what it will do is forward the request, respond back, and then it'll cache that on the server. You guys can test it out for yourself. Let's go to yahoo yahoo.com. Let's dig that. Press enter. That took about 128 milliseconds. It brought in all IP addresses and all that stuff. 
just by doing a DNS query. And then let's run it again. Boom, it took one millisecond. So as you hit websites, it'll cache. And that's it, you've successfully set up a DNS caching server using Bind on Ubuntu server 24.04. And as you can see, it's not too hard. And this setup will definitely help improve your network's performance and efficiency. And if you find this tutorial helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And remember, the goal is to keep learning and keep growing in your tech journey. Until next time, stay safe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.